We hope to see you right back here to watch us crown a champion. There's Mr. YouTube. <laughs> hey, you got any new likes and subscribes today? Always, Coach. Look, if you're not growing, you're dying, man. Whatever that means. It's, it's marketing. I'm, I'm not expecting you to understand. You wouldn't get it. Wouldn't care either. But I can promise you this. You aren't getting any likes or subscribes if you let Keith Watching shut you down and end our season. Oh, no. He legit. He defend up and down the line, too. I've been peeping. Yeah, he's going to make it incredibly hard for you to get your shot off. This kid is long, man. Like par five Kapalua long. So you're saying we got to get the whole team involved. Yeah, that's right. You got to be quick with your decision making. Okay. Just pass it, because these guys cover a lot of ground quickly. So, yeah, 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 you're right. All right, let's get on the court. Let's get some work on some passing drills.
Hello and welcome to 2K Sports' presentation of the College Basketball Championship Tournament Finals. I'm Forrest Hunt, joined by Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. We're glad to have you with us. In this game, we'll see the West Virginia Mountaineers going up against the Syracuse Orange. The list of legendary players to come through Syracuse is a long one. And MP can add his name to that list if he can deliver the Orange a championship tonight. All roads leading to this incredible ride for both clubs, but only one will remain standing after tonight. Now here's MP to the inside. Nelson, yes, and it's MP picking up the assist. Oh, how about the ball movement from MP right there? Scouts love seeing that type of unselfishness. Keith Watson on the wing. Back to Collins. Shoots the three. Syracuse with the rebound. It's been a long road back here for West Virginia. 1959. That makes this a history-making moment for them. A lot of pressure on these young players tonight with the possibility of the school's first title in the balance. Watson draws the double. Pass to Collins. Watson. Back to Collins. Pearson outside. Collins with it. Shot clock at six. Outside West. From deep. Here's Stevenson. MP with the block. Uh, alertness pays off with a block from MP. That, that focus is something scouts are sure to notice. MP up top. He's guarded by Stevenson. Back to MP. Stolen by Keith Watson. And they're running. Pearson with it. Miller covering. Here's Collins. He gets it in there. Yeah, you got to give Pearson credit. Recognizing the overcommitment and then taking advantage of that to burn the defense. Here's Miller. And the first shot of the night for him missing. Pass to Pearson. Here's Stevenson. Pearson. Up top, Watson. To the middle. Foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time. Syracuse tonight, searching for the second national title in the school's history. The first and only was back in 2003. A double-double for Carmelo Anthony was huge in that one. Maybe a future Melo is on the floor tonight for the Orange. And for this school, this is already a group of players that will be legends on campus. They've captured the attention of Hoop fans across the globe. It's really been as special of a tournament as any I've ever seen, and I've seen a bunch of them. Three points. They still have a John chance to Pearson. put a period at the end of this incredible story. But no matter what, their school will honor this group forever. And with MP and his team, this underdog run has them as the fan favorites. We, you know how we all like to cheer for the underdog. They've busted brackets, but every neutral hoop fan wants to see the eight seed succeed. And an unprecedented feat by this group. They'll be the first team since 1997 to have the chance to beat three number one seeds in the tournament. And that's as tough as it gets for a school. To be able to get by two number one seeds is already tough enough. Shows you just how talented this group is. So both teams making some changes here. James Dennis, Palmer Wolf. Trailing here. And we 
we've discussed it before in the tournament. MP and his team are already playing with house money, and they've exceeded all expectations. Getting to this point is already a victory, but they have the right mindset. They've come this far. Why not finish when you start? Shot scared by Tavares. Boy, they've gone on this run, and ball movement has been a big key. It really has, Clark. The defense unable to react as quickly as necessary in terms of dealing with their passing. West Virginia has an incredibly rich basketball history, but they have never been able to capture a title. To me, that says more about the level of competition in the tournament than it does about them. You can run an incredible program and never make it all the way. They've been getting it done at both ends during this run. Yeah, it, really tough to say where they've been better. They really want to find that igniter here. Yeah, that, their offense has ground to a standstill. Yeah, it looked to me as though Dean was just waiting for the defense to make that mistake and instantly gets it to the wide open man. Pass to Harden. Pearson. Right side, Watson. Here's Harden. MP with the block. And it's out of bounds to the Mountaineers as West Virginia retains possession. Rondé Hernandez. Pearson left side. Shoots over Miller. Luck on that one. Great D that time from MP. To the paint. Here's Dennis. Count the bucket coming off the perfectly placed assist. Wow, what a pass there. He made that a very easy basket with that setup. Pass to Harden. Over MP. Wolf pulls it in. Something you gotta love and appreciate about college hoops is the fan culture. West Virginia has some of the most diehard fans on And that one is good. MP. You can see the balance MP has, showing he can take contact and finish through. Now Pearson. Pass to Harden. MP with the block. D on the way. Sutton playing the low block, and that one's good. Thinking about the enthusiasm West Virginia fans have when their Mountaineers win, they really take it to the streets. WVU fans certainly know how to express themselves. Any win can turn into a party with the Mountaineers. No matter what happens, celebrate safely tonight, everybody. Throws it up high, and MB throws it down. Below MP. <laughs> now a timeout called by West Virginia. And with their offense sputtering, coaches Jackson. gotta get them back on track. Jackson. Well, Greg, the misses started piling up. Things kind of snowballed on them in that regard. This is a good timeout to kind of calm his guys down and hit the reset button. Here's in. And just miss after miss right now. And some big names have graced the backs of Mountaineers jerseys. But the biggest has to be the logo, Jerry West, Mr. Clutch himself, who played back in the late 50s. Oh, I tell you what, nice little run here that they're going on. And, and getting to the 10 has been the key. They're getting point blank looks time and time again. Now here's Pearson. He's got six. the block inside some touch off the glass Jerry West certainly does have to be West Virginia's most notable contribution to NBA history no argument here every time we see that iconic NBA logo we're reminded of Jerry and to this day he still holds a number of West Virginia school records now here's Pearson outside Hernandez Pass to West. Here's Paul. He's guarded by Nelson. Now here's Pearson. And 
the Mountaineers miss again. You can just see the frustration growing on their faces. Nothing going their way. You know, guys, no denying it's been a rough patch here. I think they've got to run whatever is best in their playbook to get a good shot. Here's West. Two minutes remaining in the first half. And he Two can't minutes. stop the drought. Another miss. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. Yeah. The battle to a standstill on the boards has really been something to watch, and the game's not over yet. We'll see if one of these teams maintains more energy than the other going down the front. West Virginia calls timeout. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. And, you know, I think he's going to... West Virginia trailing here. Pearson outside. West on the wing. Pearson. Watson guarded by Starks. Pearson outside. Stevenson inside. MP's there. Cans it from downtown. J.D. Collins. Al Miller. Outside, Nelson. Down low. Here's MP. That's good again. He's six for eight from the floor. To get inside position, I mean, he's more than capable of finishing from there. Now here's Pearson. Six points for him. And stolen by MP. And they're moving it up. And he lobs it up toward the rim. Outside West. MP with the block. And it's out of bounds to the Mountaineers as West Virginia retains possession. Here's Stevenson. West with some nice D. MP outside. They double team MP. Here's Nelson. Terrific assist and nice finish. Solid play all around. Pushing the action, getting others involved. He does it time and time again. Boy, it sure has seemed as though he's done it every time. It's been an awesome display. A passing for him today. Nelson. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. At the line for the Mountaineers, J.D. Collins taking two shots. And good on the second, so he makes both. Syracuse in the lead. Here's Miller. The teardrop falls in. And that's 10 straight points in the paint. The defense. Nowhere to be found. I think they've really got to start committing more bodies down low and really kind of close that area off defensively. Pass to Pearson. Collins. Back to Pearson. And here's Hernandez. Here's Collins. Shoots a three. It's hauled in by MP. It's Nelson on the wing. Outside West. Back to Nelson. Pass to West. From outside the arc. Gets it to go from downtown. And creating a little separation here. Gaining some confidence. Yeah, you get the sense that they're going to start stretching this lead out a little bit. And here's Hernandez. He's guarded by West. Pearson with it. Stevenson. Outside, Hernandez. Out to the left wing. Down to five on the shot clock. Collins can't get it to go. And the orange with possession here. To the middle. Here's West. And then West with the dunk. Yeah, letting it rip. They're just having fun right now. Just been rolling. Impossible to stop. 
Back to Pearson to stop the run. And the Two jumper's points. good. John Pearson. Hey, when you're a leader like Pearson, you've got to assert yourself. And that's what he's doing there, showing you he's unafraid of rising and taking that shot. He lobs up the alley pass. It's stolen by Stevenson. Collins with it. Miller covering. Pass to Hernandez. Stevenson. Back to Hernandez. Pearson. He's guarded by West. Now here's Stevenson. He's tightly guarded. Hernandez. Off the mark there with the three. Here's Nelson. Inside. And the dunk by MP. And I'll tell you, right now, these guys cannot be stopped. Literally every shot, partner. I mean, they just aren't missing. Timeout called here. The Mountaineers decide to talk things over. MP really making a difference here. Absolutely on fire. They need to regroup and figure out a way to slow his roll. Into the lineup for Syracuse. Substitution for West Virginia. They double team MP. West. Yes, and it's MP picking it. West making things easier for the Q's. Biggs with every basket he scores inside. His versatility is a huge positive for this team. Watson inside, guarded by Starks. And here's MP. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. To the paint. Nelson. And the layup falls. And what a game. What a run it's been for MP and his school. They have the lead and it's all but said and done. They are going to be your national champions. And what an unlikely run. As crazy a journey as we've ever seen. This team believed in their abilities and peaked at the right time. And this performance is going to open up eyes all around the country. You figure the stars like MP have greatly boosted their draft stock. What a storybook finish for an all-time great team for this school. A nice shot by MP. Relentless in their approach, even with the game firmly in hand. And, you know, until that final buzzer sounds, I mean, you've got to treat every possession like it's crucial. Here's Watson. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. That's on Starks. And what you appreciate about... In for your orange. Substitution for the Mountaineers. Watson with the dunk. Keep Watson. Showing some bounce right there. Watson elevating and throwing it down with some power. To the inside. And they're going to count the bucket and send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. And credit the whole team. It was a focused, concerted effort to put this one away. Yeah, what a time to put the hammer down. Any hope of a comeback diminished. White with it. Pass to Harden. Here's Rose. Brand. Bucket four. For three. White. Now here's Lane. Inside, MP. And he drops oh, the layup off the glass. This has been MP's night so far. He's playing with real passion and finding lots of buckets. Here's Rose. Pass to White. Over West. Oh, target with the free throw line, Jay. That's the Lee wins. 
Oh, and it's over. The Syracuse Orange are the new college champs. I mean, we almost could have given them the trophy at halftime as well as they played. They certainly put one heck of a bow on this impressive tournament run with that major lopsided win. And you know pro scouts are salivating at MP's complete dominance in the biggest game of the year. He's on his way to a Hall of Fame career, folks. And so that's the end of the stunning college basketball tournament and the end of our broadcast. This is Forrest Hunt along with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next year.